the key to successful mechanical clockwork was a combination of four elements. A device for driving a clock regularly and mechanical clockwork introduced the idea of falling weights. A set of gear trains which could transmit that energy regularly and reliably and as it was hoped with a certain amount of precision to some way of indicating the time. And then above all, a means of turning the motion of the weights into a oscillation of some kind. And that had to require a regulator, which was a means of turning the gears at regular, precise, digitized intervals. And then an escapement, which would re restore the position back to its initial starting point. And it's the escapement mechanism which is the novelty of the late 13th and early 14th century, built up out of this oscillating beam called a folio with two weights, one at either end, and a vertical verge attached to pallets which make the crown wheel um, move at regular intervals. Now that kind of escapement is new in the end of the 1200s, beginning of the 1300s. Richard of Wallingford, the abbot of St. Albans, was a smart young Oxford mathematician who um, in the late 1320s takes over St. Albans Abbey, which is the, one of the wealthiest and certainly one of the most powerful of the Benedictine abbeys, not only in England, but in the whole of Europe. And between 1327 and 1336, Wallingford inaugurates the construction of this extraordinarily expensive, one needs to remember this, and complex clock, which will not only tell the hours using this kind of mechanism, but also show the motion of the heavens, of the moon, of the planets, and even of the tides. Attached to the astronomical mechanism of the clock was a dragon hand, as it was called, because it was in the shape of a dragon, which would point out the moment of lunar eclipses. So this was a machine which not only told the time regularly according to the rule of St. Benedict, but it displayed for everybody the power and wealth of this institution. And as we might say, above all, it showed that through machinery, through mechanical ingenuity, the Abbey was the representative on earth of what God was doing in the heavens.